When I'm working with directors of learning and development or human resources to create a learning strategy, our first step is to assess the situation. And this includes what what's already in place, what learning and development courses or programs do are already being offered to employees, whether they're developed in-house or outsourced, and, and what does that all look like? And I like to use a stoplight approach. So I use green uh, for courses or programs and materials that are good to go. And we can slide them right into that, that strategy that, we, uh, that we're going to plan for. Uh, I use yellow to identify things that we have in place that are maybe a little bit outdated or need a bit of a refresh, or maybe we um, offered it in person or maybe just virtually. And our strategy is to move towards a more fluid approach. And so we want to, the content's good, but we need to re redesign it for a different delivery channel. And then my last sticky in my um, stoplight approach is red, or in this case, pink. Um, and those are gaps that we find. So something doesn't exist. So we need to create something net new. And I find that going through and assessing what you have in place already helps um, when you're rolling up all of that into that learning strategy, when you're considered across the organization. And uh, it can inform then the recommendations and the priorities. So for example, if you have a lot of green programs, a lot of green stickies, um, maybe that identifies something that you can focus on in year two or maybe even year three of your implementation plan. If there's a lot of red programs, so things, gaps, things that aren't developed, this might be where you want to focus uh, first with your implementation plan, focus on in year one. And then if you have some yellow stickies, some yellow programs, these might represent some quick wins. So maybe it's something that you, yeah, it's yellow so we can defer it to later, but maybe it's yellow and it could be a quick win. And it's something that you could just update really quickly and then get it out there and, and be able to show as part of your implementation plan that we're really making progress. So I'm curious, um, what do you do to analyze your current offerings and how do you use that analysis and that information to inform your decisions and your priorities?